Hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Array tool in Lightwave Modeler. So the Array tool, it's under the Multiply tab, and then you do, if you go down to Duplicate, it's got the Array there. So if we click on Array, and then N on your keyboard, it'll bring up the numerical, and it'll bring up like the default settings. So the Array tool, it's a way of like duplicating the object uh, either as a rectangular or array dial like so so currently it's on rectangular like so and if we just go down the settings quickly so obviously you've got the reset option you've got the render mode so i like to have it on normal just so i can see the textures and everything you've got fast preview or deform and then you've got automatic which is a kind of randomization of it. You've got the node editor option, so if you, uh, you want to experiment in the node editor with what you can do, you can. And then you've got the count through the X, Y, and Z. So currently we've got three, only one set, and three through the Z. That's, what you, that's why we've got kind of nine. So it's three by three, like so. The offset here for the X, Y, and Z is the gap between each of the car based on these settings. So currently there's a one meter gap between the X, Y, and Z. So, and it's usually from the from the pivot point, from the center of the car. So let's separate them. Let's go and put four, nothing in the Y, because we're not going up, and three. So then what we've got is we've got our uh, nine cars with a four meter gap for the, x and a three meter gap for the z now obviously the car itself is centered so that's where the center point of the car which will start from so if the car was positioned over here or a different position that's where the first one would start from as well so when you're using the radar uh, if you because it's spherical it's kind of going around in a circle you would decide where you want that starting point of your actual car to start duplicating uh, with these settings here, so you've got between, so between each one of the car, for the say for the X, we've got four meter. If you click total, that's the total distance from the start to the, the last one. And then multiply, multiply means for each uh, array, it will multiply it by four. But usually, I mean, it's up to you, it depends what you want to do, but I'm just using the between. Same with the Y and same with the, the X as well. So... That's the basics of, of, of those, but again, most of the time, mm, I would I usually use between, so I want the gap between, but you can randomise it if you want as well. Then below, you've got the random positioning, so this is like the positioning of the car, so if I was to put in, say, 5 metres, what that's going to do through the X, look, if you see it's running through the X, it's randomising the position of the car, like so. And again, same for the Y, same for the the Z again if you randomize it or cross through, through the Z I mean I haven't got anything in the Y but if I was to come put say 3 in the Y like so and then let's just put say I don't know 5 so what we've got in now is we're getting that gap bit of 5 meters between each or you can or if you wanted to you could do the total like so let's just put this back down to 1 we don't need anything in there. So we've got our nine cars like so. Again, randomization. Uh, let's say we want a randomization of 90 degrees. You could do that. You can do the scale as well. With, a, with this car, because it's exactly the same car, you wouldn't necessarily use the randomization of the scale. If it was like a piece of a fruit, maybe, or if you had a pile of objects that you the same objects, but you know you're going to get a randomization of it, you might start experimenting with... Uh, the different let's just put randomly in so you see what I mean uh, you'll get all these different randomizations based on the angles you kind of put in uh, like so but with the car obviously I just want them all the same so like so that's as easy as that so if we now go to the radar uh, and then what you've got now we've got so this is going around in a circle based on which axis you want to use so uh, the count's eight now it's 360 so it's going around in a whole circle um you you can use it x y or z like so 
you've got an offset which obviously is only going to go the offset is going to be up or down basically if you put in a plus or a minus for the cars to go up so if i was to put in say five here uh, what it's going to do is going to bring them up in the air like so we'll look at that again in a second you've got uh, obviously the actual positioning so if we was to put five in the x through the x like so you'll notice there's this little handle so the handle what it lets you do is you can grab it and based on what window you're in or which which window you're kind of moving it in so i've got both the same there really it's based on how it's going to interact and stuff like so so you can actually move it how you want and you can see here look how it's moving so we can just reset these at any time as you, as you want and then you can come in and uh, put whatever kind of numerical you want in there so if we put in say two meters in there now you'll notice the cars are solely two meters apart that's going up like so through the fall off and again like before you've got the between and your total so the total distance or you can have it between just two meters you've got the uh, you've got the x y and z options to see which way you want to the actual to go so as we start adding more you'll notice and then we can bring them in like so and again this remember this can be any object you wish uh, and then you've got the random positioning again the random rotation and the random scale which works in the same way as the rectangular but that in general is the, the basics of the actual array tool it's really simple to use it's really cool and it will get you some nice results in a quick way if you need it thanks for listening